So <laughs> this kitchen is a mess. And one of the things a lot of people say to me is that they struggle with getting motivated or getting started. And one of the greatest things you can do is parallel working or some kind of accountability system. So what I'm going to do is I am going to clean. I only have 30 minutes because I have a call at one or at two o'clock and it's 1.20 and I should take like 10 minutes after that to refresh my day, use the ladies room, whatever. But this kitchen is a disaster. So one of the great things that you can do is to work alongside somebody else. It's called parallel working. It's something that is very recommended for people with ADHD or people with procrastination problems or people who struggle to get motivated. So I have already started cleaning as you are watching and what I'm going to do is clean. If I get a sec, I'm going to do a tiny bit of decluttering in the dining room. So we'll see how far I get. I will be putting in my AirPods because there is no reason somebody should not be entertained when they are cleaning. It has been a heck of a week. Things have gone on in the background for me and I am not happy about all of them, but that is okay because I want to have a clean kitchen after this and goodness knows that will always make things better. So I'm going to put my AirPods in, change the angle for this camera. I'm going to get started. And I'm also going to set my watch 30 minute timer. There we go. Okay. So one of the great things you can do right now is tidy along with me to get to your goal for the day. And if you don't make it all the way, pause this and then pick up later. But I implore you, you can do this for half an hour. One thing I will do is I will <laughs> uh, not make you watch me move the camera so you don't get nauseous. Okay, let's do that. So whether you are just starting with cleaning up your kitchen right now as we work on this together, or if you are deciding you're going to dig in and get some decluttering done, it is so helpful to work alongside somebody. I took a course, um, I think it was last year, about ADHD coach training uh, because I do some coaching and I thought, oh, it would be good to have some actual like expertise in ADHD. And one of the big things that they mentioned for people who procrastinate or who have struggling getting motivated is to do parallel work. So to work alongside people. And a lot of people, they will even just put somebody on Zoom or do a live stream and do some work doing some decluttering and cleaning too. And if you would be interested in me starting a live stream, uh, I don't think it would be weekly, but maybe every now and then putting on a live stream and we can all work together while like I clean my house and you clean your house or you declutter. I think it could be really helpful for a lot of people to get the stuff done because I was chatting in my untangled membership call yesterday actually and I was saying that if you think about it if you did half an hour's worth of decluttering per day that is 182 and a half hours so can you imagine 182 and a half hours how much could you get decluttered if you spent just half an hour a day for a year now, perhaps you'll think, oh my gosh, like a year is so long. No, a year is not long, especially if you have been working on decluttering or trying to reset your house for a long time. A year is not long at all because a year is you getting it done and getting it done properly. Look at the tear in my elbow. I love that sweater so much and I use it all the time. I'm now behind me, you can see I have those dishcloths there and I put them there so that they can dry because I have a bucket and I poked holes in this bucket. It's a perforated bucket so that things don't get too smelly while they're waiting to be washed. But I hang them there on the um, oven door so that they can dry, uh, but it looks terrible. So at the end of this video, I actually will put them away. On the island there, you can see, and I will talk about this in a minute, just that I've got a bowl, which has some um, dough rising for bread and some chicken defrosting. And I know you're not supposed to leave it out for long, so I'm not leaving it out long. And that's an empty protein powder container. Um, my husband and I go through quite a bit of protein powder because we know how important it is to get protein. Now this kitchen table 
is looking a little messy. My husband was doing a bit of paperwork. So I was picking up some garbage and um, grabbing a, straightening out his paperwork. Uh, my son's breakfast plate was still on the table and this was like 1.30. <laughs> but I was just cleaning up that table. And I apologize because the lighting in this camera is going to change a lot. This is a fabulous camera. I love it so much, but it does change a lot. So I ran out to the garage and I'm just keeping things running for you guys because we're parallel working. We're working together so that we can be accountable so we can get things done. Because in this half hour, I managed to get a lot done. Not all of it. So you'll have to wait till the end to see like what didn't get accomplished. But I'm pretty happy with what got accomplished here. And back in the kitchen there, you know, it's funny watching how I clean. You know, if you ever film yourself, you'll say like, wow, I really move around. I don't stick to one area. But I think part of it is that I am putting things where they go, which isn't always like the best strategy. Sometimes I'll pile things up and then I will return things where they need to go. But I just, and, and look at this, I'm like jamming that in the recycling because it was recycling day and the kids were running late. So they didn't get to take that out to the bin before it made it to the road. So there was nowhere for me to put it, which was fine. Now I love to do canning and I find it is so helpful to have food preserved that is ready to go. Now I often will freeze some meals and I will put them in the freezer and let me know if you'd be interested in a video about meal prep, not necessarily meal prep, but meal um, planning and just showing you how I do it. So I am getting the sink all cleaned up because I'm not going to wash anything in a dirty sink because that just doesn't make sense. And I know a lot of the cleaning routines like Fly Lady and that they have you cleaning your sink before bed, which is so handy. But this morning, I don't know, we hadn't done it the night before. I won't say we're super consistent with it, although I love having a clean sink. Do not get me wrong. But I was cleaning up the sink because I want to clean my jarred foods. And I just happened to have some baking soda in a dish there and use that to scrub the bottom of the sink, which was so helpful. Um, and so the dishes, the things that I had cooked, which was um, like bolognese, pasta sauce with meat, and I have that preserved so that on a busy meal, I can throw together uh, some pasta, or I had made some homemade gnocchi, which was super easy, a thousand times better than store-bought gnocchi, although totally fine. And I will totally do that in a pinch, but store-bought gnocchi, I think it has some kind of preservative. It has like a bit of an almost slightly bitter flavor. And, um, what I really like is just, I, I had made some at home. It was absolutely delicious. So I can just throw a meal together so quickly because during the week I'm really busy. Um, if I am working on my YouTube channel or other things, then I struggle to, you know, make like a really healthy meal. But if I have things made ahead of time, then it's really easy to throw together a healthy meal. So uh, what I'm doing now is washing the jars because when you make things in a pressure canner, sometimes they will siphon, which means like a little bit of the liquid will come out. And regardless, you need to wipe off your jars. So I wiped off my jars and got them nice and clean. And I know you're busy too. So during the week for me, I am working on my YouTube channel. I have my Untangled membership and serving people in there, doing some coaching, a little bit of coaching here and there. But believe it or not, YouTube actually takes up a lot of time. Plus I am a registered nurse and I, if I am working as a nurse, it's usually on the weekend because when I am home during the week, it makes things move much more slow or smoothly with the family, with my husband's work schedule. So for us at this moment, that's how it's working. So I pretty much am working Monday to Friday and then sometimes on the weekends as a nurse right now too. So having meals ready ahead of time is so helpful. And in my freezer currently, I have some 
jambalaya that is ready to go. I can just throw it in my instant pot. So it is yummy. I had some ranch chicken, which was okay. Um, for the ex expense of the ingredients and this, it was a very strong flavor because it had pesto in it. And I just was like, I'm not feeling it. So I decided not to make that again, which was good. Um, I actually also got these really cool things called super cubes. I'll link them in the description. They're so handy. This is me showing you my dirty jar. I will explain that in a second, but I've got these super cubes. They're amazing. So what I did, I started using them when I got zucchini from the garden and I would shred it up and put them in the super cubes because I could do it in two cup measurements, one cup measurement, half cup measurement. Um, and then I think there's, and then there's like a two tablespoon or one tablespoon. Like there's also, there's marks on them. So I froze the zucchini. And then if I wanted to make muffins, super handy. But I also made a pot of jelly and then I froze in one cup sections. So what's great, sometimes you're hungry for lunch or my husband, when he gets home from a night shift, he can go ahead and make himself some chili or I can. It's so handy. So I love having meals ready. Like This is just a new thing. A lot of you are probably like, yeah, that's not new. I'm like, I know, but I only started about a year ago and I love it. Now, this, what I'm washing right now, these are jars of bolognese or you know meat sauce that I canned in my pressure canner and when you pressure can it's at a very high pressure and sometimes like depending on what you're making uh, if you fill it slightly too full or if you cool it down a bit too fast or too slow then there's my cat meowing then it can siphon which means like a tiny bit of the liquid comes out and usually the jars get a little bit dirty anyway. Um, these little jars here, they didn't as much, but I was cleaning off the pasta sauce and it's just, you can literally dunk them in the sink as long as they're sealed properly. Don't mind my meowing cat. Now these here are candied jalapenos, also known as cowboy candy, and they're delicious. You can see, I was just checking the lids there over here. I am just washing them up um, as well. I feel like they didn't really need it, but I gave them a really good wash. Now, these were super handy. Most days what I do now, because as a nurse, I've seen so many people who live their life with limited mobility. I'm so passionate about living like a quality long life and you know, I, I tell you this because I want you to live a quality long life. And this is why it's so important to me that people live in an environment that is serving them, that is calm, that is peaceful. So these jalapenos, I will throw them. And actually I half the sugar. They're very sweet. So I half the sugar and I will put them on top of salad. And where I was going with that is I now pretty much eat salad every day for lunch with some kind of protein. I also went to Costco, probably not the best source for salmon, but I got a bunch of salmon from there and I canned it. I literally don't think I saved a penny. It may have even cost me a couple of dollars, but the quality is so, so much better. Um, so over here, I'm just going to wipe some things off and just get it cleaned up. It just felt so good to get in this kitchen, get those jars cleaned up and put away. And like, look at me. I'm just like, this is like what I wear during the week, sweatpants, a hoodie with like a ripped elbow and just cleaning things off. So yes, my lunches, I try to make them pretty healthy and one of the ways that I do that again is by having food ready to go. If you would like me to do a video on meal planning, I will do that. If you're interested in actual meal prep, I will leave that to my friend Maddie from the Let's Eat, Eat Plants YouTube channel because she is a queen of meal prepping. She on the weekend will get all of her meals ready. And this is actually something I do too, is I it just recently started on the weekend. That's when I do a lot of my food preserving. So this is Monday when I'm filming this and those jars had been sitting from the weekend when I did some canning. So during the week, it's so much easier for me to throw together a quick and easy meal.
Now this video will be slightly less than half an hour, even though I did spend slightly over half an hour, just because there are moments where I walk away and I don't want you just like staring at just like a blank space and being like, this is boring, I'm gonna leave. Uh, so what I did after I had all of those washed is just put them in this box. Now here is a tip for you. In a bit, you will see that I carry that box away. Now, what I was going to do, because I was not in a rush, but you know, I did have like a deadline while doing this. But what I was going to do is just put it near the top of the stairs because that's where I put these cans is down in the basement. However, one of the best things that you can do when you are tidying up your house, decluttering, just living life day to day, one of the best things you can do is not put something down. So if I were to take that box and then put it to the top of the stairs, I literally am almost doubling the amount of time that I need to spend on that because then later I need to say, oh yes, now I need to take that downstairs instead of just continuing on and carrying it downstairs, which literally took like an extra 30 seconds. And you know, throw it, put, put it away too. When you're down there, that is one of the best things. It's like, don't put things down. So here, what I'm doing, cleaning up the rings. Some of them are pretty greasy still. You can see me looking closely and I'm using that Dawn power wash, man, that stuff is so good at getting grease off of things. So it, it's good to just use it to clean things up. Um, and I didn't even get a chance to work on my stove top during this half hour. I probably would have had I decided not to do a tiny bit of decluttering as well. But that Dawn Power Wash works so well on the cooktop as well. And I absolutely love it. And I am it's not for sale. <laughs> but I'm just telling you, I really like it. I mean, it is for sale, but I'm saying I'm not selling it. I'm not, this isn't sponsored by them. I just really like it. And what you can see here, what I'm doing is we have like a quartz countertop and it stains. So when I made this pasta sauce, I didn't use my own tomatoes. I didn't have enough of my own tomatoes to make pasta sauce. I have enough pa tomatoes. They're currently in the freezer to make pizza sauce. And I would way rather make um, pizza sauce than the pasta sauce. So I use some crushed tomatoes. However, the jars very quickly, I guess there's like a tiny bit of rust on them or something, they left rings on the counter. So I was using a bit of that baking soda to scrub them off. Now back to the old island here, uh, cleaning things off. And you can see I have stepped away. Uh, what I did quickly was I just washed my knife by hand. And one of the things that for the longest time, I would just put my knives in the dishwasher but it really dulls them so quickly. And you know, when you're cutting things like onions, the sharper the knife, the less likely it is going to burn your eyes. Uh, I don't think you can see it, but I even have like some special goggles on the island for my, uh, when I cut onions and they're not even like quite tight enough. I need to get like one of those bands that you put on kids' glasses just to like keep them tight enough for when I am. Um, um, cutting onions because, oh my gosh. Anyway, but the point is that I now wash pretty much all of my knives by hand because that way they stay sharp longer. And my husband, he sharpens my knives for me, which is lovely. But if I am not maintaining them, then he needs to do that more often and he would not be very happy with that. Do not pay attention to what is written on that bag. It is just a silly bag that I got and that's actually just where I keep my canning rings in there and I'm putting the lids away as well in the pantry and I have a new pantry video coming out because I completely redid the pantry and you are absolutely gonna love it um, still just putting things away it's so funny watching myself clean because I really just like move things around so it is the middle of the day and I am going to, I have a bowl for bread, some chicken that is defrosting, not for long, don't worry, and uh, my cutting board. So I'm going to leave those there and put the butter back in the fridge. And then I think I have just enough time. I have like 
five minutes that I can spend in the dining room. Although I'm not quite done in here. Oh my gosh, look at me. I'm a silly goose. Oh, more, more, more jar rings. Ah. Now, some other very helpful tips for getting work done and avoiding procrastination and struggling with motivation issues. Number one, I absolutely love using a planner. I use my planner all of the time. And what I use it for mostly is like deciding what I'm going to do for the day. So I will put down the things I want to get done. And even if it's like put laundry away, uh, depending on the stage of life or not stage of life, but what is happening right now, because there are moments where life is absolutely crazy. Even if I, I'm going away and I'm packing and I want to write down, don't forget to pack this. Make sure you call the doctor about this. Make sure you call the pharmacy about this. So those things can be super duper helpful. The other thing I do that I absolutely love is I use my phone as a reminder. Now, I don't do this usually for things like things I want to get done around the house. Like say I wanted to declutter and I didn't want to forget, but other people do. And Cass from Clutterbug, uh, her and I have a video coming out together soon. And we were both discussing about how we use things. And she will basically say, Alexa, remind me this. Alexa, remind me that. And uh, for me, I will just put basically like appointments in my phone, things that cannot be forgotten, especially if it's something that I'm being, I need to make sure I don't let somebody down for, which is so helpful. And that is another great reason why like this parallel working can work so well, because you don't want to let that other person down. Here I'm putting away my little drying mat and here... All of this tea, I love tea. So I'm putting my tea away and I've got my teacup. I, I, I didn't put it on the jar jar because I forgot. Let's just make the tea now. <laughs> this is the de-freaking-licious, it's called Paris Afternoon. It's from Murchie's Tea, not sponsored, but I absolutely love it. Now this kettle, I absolutely love. I will link it below if you're looking for a gift for your anybody who loves tea or yourself get it because it's always got hot water and it fits like three liters look at that it's so fast okay i'm gonna let this sit okay let's go in the dining room okay come on okay so normally when i am decluttering okay time check okay i've got three minutes normally when i'm decluttering i have a box for donate sell i have one for bring home and i have one for um garbage recycling right yeah um now this and then I just sort of organize them when I get there now this is just sort of my overflow tea because this tea Yorkshire biscuit you it's very hard to get in Canada I actually order it online from Amazon and it's actually somebody in the UK that sends it to me so it's really good so what I'm doing right now um I am just putting things in here and you probably want to see now Look at this. This is a perfect example of something I don't need to keep. I ordered an apron online um, from Etsy and they sent me this cute little linen bag. I have no need for this, but because it's like a cute little linen bag, I decided to keep it. I also have some very old candy canes. We're not gonna keep those either. So, and instead of the four box method, I'm just making piles. These are just extra teas that I have. Now in here, other than that, I have like a family photo. Now, one of the things I do so that I don't have too much out is I do um, tend to rotate things. And right now I have my Halloween decor out. So other things are put away. Now, this is just the tea overflow. I'm just going to put this back here. So we're good right here. We have 30 seconds so let's go in this drawer here. Now this one is a bit more full. And what's great is I already see something that I can declutter. And that is this runner. Um, and I'm going to show you at the end, just sort of like how everything looks. 
but I've got this runner and is this a runner or is this placemats? Oh, it's placemats. You want to know what's so funny is I was like, I need to order new placemats. And then I just found these and these will do. So that's good. So I can deal with my other ones. Um, and then there's this. And these are other random placemats. And I think I, I don't need these. I'm going to donate these. So that's good. Uh, I have one of my dad's cameras. Now I keep this stuff out when we're not decorated for fall slash Halloween. This is a burlap runner and this actually should be with the Christmas stuff. So I'm going to just put that there only because we're decorating for Christmas soon. And yeah. Oh, and then there's this. This came with a Tiffin set and it honestly just needs to be donated. So funny enough, if I look quickly, everything else in here is stuff, just decor that gets rotated. That's it. Look at this. My kids, they gave me this one Valentine's Day. And you want to know what's really nice? My watch is going off for 30 minutes. What's really nice about that Halloween or that um, um, Valentine's Day is that I made them each like a bunch of little hearts and put them on the inside of their closets with things that I love about them and they absolutely loved them. So you know what? I think I need to do that again, even though one of them is 18 and all grown up. Now let's look at the final because I gotta go, I got a call, even though I made my tea, which is good, which is why it's okay that I went a minute over, right? Let's look. Ugh. Does anybody else grunt when they get off of the floor? Oh my gosh. But look at this clean kitchen. Now the table isn't perfectly clean, but that's okay. And I've got the tea put away. There was even a piece of paper back there, but I'm so much happier in just half an hour. Can we celebrate how good it feels to have a clean house? Now, I know a lot of people struggle with keeping their house clean and it's like the day-to-day -day chores and I myself do. But I just tried out the Motivated Moms Method with Ariel from That Awkward Mom. This is my video. And after you watch that, watch her video. I hope something great happens for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.